Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the uh, continued uh, build of this S63 engine. Um, we're going ahead and uh, time in the uh, install the camshafts and time the engine. Um, I've already got the uh, right side done, cylinder one through four. Uh, this has been camshafts installed, uh, Fanos installed, camshaft timed, installed chain adjuster. Uh, we're going to repeat the process on the other sides for you guys to see. I cleaned the hydraulic adjusters with diesel fuel, remove all the carbon built up inside of them. And then I flushed them out with clean diesel fuel, then I flushed them back out with transmission fluid. So, go ahead and get this installed. All right, so we've uh, installed the hydraulic hydraulic lifters, installed the rockers. We've lubricated the exhaust camshaft bearing journals with a liquid molly. We've lubricated with a red lube for the Teflon seals. New Teflon seals was replaced. We've installed the cam, so no cam lobe is depressing the follower or the rocker roller uh, everything's got to be off of it so right now nothing's being depressed you can see cam lobes off to the side these two are over here these two are up and these two are down to the side here okay All right, gentlemen, a little bit of a recap here. We have installed both intake and exhaust camshaft. Uh, caps have been lubricated with liquid, uh, uh, liquid molly bendelum um, for initial startup and then red line lube on the lobes. The both camshafts are installed onto the rocker so there's no tension. The, none of the lobes are depressing so the top of the lobes that actuate the rockers none of them are actuating onto the rockers that means these two cams are installed with the lobes facing this way and these two cams are installed with the lobes facing this way that is the least pressure that is off of these lobes and then we install the rocker uh 
install the cam caps are installed with the letters facing upwards so when you read you're reading it in the correct position looking downwards this way okay and um like i said before r e does r designate right side e designates intake and the letter it uh, the number designates the cap number okay um on the exhaust side is a a in uh in indicates exhaust okay um so these have been torqued to 50 newton meters um i did that in stages uh 500 uh 5 newton meters a thousand uh 10 newton meters and then 50 newton meters okay um, I make sure that the camshafts are loose, nothing's binding. Next step, we're going to install the uh, camshaft adjusters and time the engine. Vanos adjustment units, intake and exhaust, A, exhaust. Also, you can see right up here, AUS is exhaust. And then here you can see EIN. Where is it? Here. EIN, intake. An E designation for intake. Um, I have cleaned thoroughly with some alcohol and brake cleaner around here. This is, these are held on by uh, torque. There's no keyway, so it's retained by the torque of the bolt. So we want this very clean, no oil or anything like that. All right, gentlemen, let's uh, do a recap here before we go any further, okay? Camshafts were installed. Remember, we aligned the lobes this way and this way. After we install the lobes, uh, install the camshafts, we install the adjusters uh, loosely. We install the new bolts with some ARP torque lubricant to allow uh, when you're torquing this that it slides on here so you've got a good uh, contact and you don't go all the surface of the bolt this has been installed with no gaps I, I tightened it then I backed it off 90 degrees so this is still moving independently of the camshaft now I wanted to make sure I know I'm at 150 degrees before that top that center but I had to rotate these camshafts to align the machine surface on top for my final timing so I wanted to make sure I knew where each of the pistons were and according to this I made a mark this piston is uh, pretty close to the top dead top center not quite a top dead center yet but I want to make sure when I'm rotating the camshafts on both of these uh, that the lobes are not in the rotation I'm not depressing it so I would when I rotated it I rotated it in the direction that would not depress the spring okay so I did that both for there and after that, I install my tool that makes sure that I'm at uh, alignment. To finish time in this, we've rotated the engine twice, came back and aligned our 
alignment tools and it lines perfectly. So now we just gotta install the factory tensioner. Okay. Install our factory tensioner, our brand new tensioner. Pin the ready to lock the pin in place. Okay. Chain tensioner installed, torque 13 newton meters. Okay, now we're going to rotate it two times. Double check timing. Fully in contact. Okay. All right. All right guys, so this is timed. We are gonna go ahead and install the cover, install the valve cover, and we're done. Okay. Hey guys, this engine is completed. Uh, this, this build is completed, I'm finished. We're gonna install the uh, front cover, the valve cover, and then we're gonna get ready to set this up for installation into the Blue X5. Uh, follow me on that build where we remove that engine and we install this one and then we're gonna run this through a break-in process. So, hey, thanks for uh, following me through this build. I um, think it came out pretty good. Very much attention to detail. So, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think, okay? Thanks.